Lately, I've been passing time looking for ideas and great hacks to save you time. And as I'm looking at these, some of them are truly so bad, and yet some of them are so bad they're actually good. So today, we're going to take a look at those. Let's get started. Hello, I'm Noreen Burke and this is The Crafty Organizer where I love bringing you ideas for organizing, decluttering, doing DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty. My life is a little chaotic these days. I've been updating you. I'll give you a whole nother update at the end of today's video, but I was mentioning that I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently until things settle down. And so today I thought I would bring you kind of a more whimsical side of hacks and home hacks and how sometimes they're bad but sometimes they're actually really good. So here are 15 home hacks so bad they're actually good. Starting right off the bat with this button idea, I think this is actually super smart for organizing your earrings, especially if you've got one of those jewelry boxes where they always get lost. How many of us have a jar of buttons? This is a great way to keep your earrings organized and together and you'll never have to go searching for them again. As crazy as this one is, I think it's genius. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. I'd seen this one before. This is from Handyman Magazine. Getting two long bungee cords, why not use those spaces in between the two by fours in your garage or a storage area to let the paper towels sit in that recessed area. The bungee cords will keep them in place. As long as you have a storage area that's clean and dry, this is a great way to store those bulky items without it taking up all of the space on a shelf or in a cabinet. You could do this with toilet paper rolls too. I think this was another genius one. This was on a TikTok, make a head pancake mix. If you have any of those decorator bags lying around, put some pancake mix in it. When you are ready, snip off the edge and you can go ahead and make easy pancakes. No mess, no cleanup, no drips of pancakes all over the place. This is another one that I think is super smart. We're not quite at spring weather yet, but as those nights start to get longer and warmer, flip over a little pot and you can stick those solar lights right in top. Use it in the center of a table or to line an area and you'll have instant lights without having to hammer it into your ground. This one made me laugh, but again, the more I started looking at it, I was going, that's kind of a good idea. Most of you probably have handheld mixers at home, but if you don't, take a whisk and stick it into your electric drill. This will allow you to go ahead and whisk things easily, save your hands, and make the job much faster. Although I do think it probably has a good amount of splatter, so be careful with that. This one I just think is a hmm, so let me know if you think this one's a good idea or not. If you've been going on long distance drives and you like having the windows down and feeling the air on your arm, but it starts to hurt, Get a pool noodle, slice it, and stick it on the top. This gives a more comfortable armrest. I think it's kind of a good idea. I don't know, I'm on the fence with this one. If you are trying to lock up a shed, but you don't have a chain, sticking a wrench through where they have the hole to hang it from to place the lock through is a great way to lock something up in a pinch if you don't have a cable or a chain. Now this obviously couldn't be used for long term, but if you're trying to use a pop-up tent in a space where maybe you don't have room, this ingenious family used a pool float along with a small kickboard for stability for that fourth leg since they didn't have room for this pop-up. Again, this one's kind of out there, but you know, they came up with a solution for a problem. Well done. Necessity is definitely the mother of invention and the people who were using this power drill definitely came up with a solution. If you're trying to drill in a perfectly level hole and your drill does not have a level, this crafty person attached the level right to the drill. This allowed them to know if they were drilling straight or not. Pretty smart. Okay, now here's one I bet you didn't know because I just learned this. You know the laundry cups when you have your liquid soap, how it gets all gummy and gross. Most of us don't have a faucet next to the washing machine. Did you know that you can take that, fill it up, throw it right in the washer, and its intended use is to let it run with the washing machine? You just throw it right in, and when the load is done, you pull it back out and cap it. How smart is that? 
Now, while I don't recommend this one, honestly, if you were in a really weird pinch taking a soda bottle and attaching it to your shower pipe because they are the same diameter will allow you to get a little bit of a shower head in a pinch. Now let's go into food. If you are buying bagged food from the grocery store, did you know the bags that have a lot of give are the freshest? If a bag is tight, it means that it's been sitting there, the gases have expanded, and that produce is not as fresh. Now let's get into some funny food hacks. Definitely make sure this is clean, but if you have to roast a lot of hot dogs at an outside campfire, why not use a clean rake, get them all on those tips, and cook away. I guess in a pinch, if you needed a grill, a shopping cart would do. I guess this would work, but I think it's probably illegal to steal a shopping cart, so cookers beware. This one made me laugh. I guess if you're in an extreme pinch and you have no way to heat up last night's pizza if you're staying at a hotel, using an iron and a hairdryer would heat it up. But oh my goodness, the poor next person who goes to get the wrinkles out of their shirt wondering why they have grease on their clothes. Oh my goodness. So check your irons if you're about to use them in a hotel room. Good heavens. I hope these made you laugh. They gave me a good giggle, but honestly, I thought some of them were a pretty good idea. In a pinch, I think that they would definitely work. So let me know which one was your favorite, which ones you thought were really silly, and which ones you might try. Now for the updates, my dad got to leave the hospital last Monday, and we were really excited to take him home. Unfortunately, we only got to have him home for two days before he really started to not do well, so we had to take him back into the ER. They readmitted him. It turned out that he had developed an infection that went into sepsis, so he is still in the hospital right now. We don't know when he's coming out, but he is leveling out right now, so right now we're just trying to get him to eat more. Um, he's still on a feeding tube nonstop, but we're trying to get him to supplement just a little bit because he's lost so much weight since the surgery. So he's doing okay. He's, he's doing okay. He's, he's, I guess, level. So, um, the comments that you guys have been leaving are amazing. One of you sent me to a Whipple site on Facebook and they have been a wealth of information. I can't believe how much uh, I've gotten from that. So thank you so much for the kind words. I'm holding on. I know um, Bonnie has is my moderator for my Facebook page. She has been unbelievably kind in suggesting that you guys watch my videos to try and continue to support me. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. That has actually really helped this month. So if you don't mind watching some of my old videos or letting them play, it really does help me out right now. Uh, and I appreciate you letting me do some of these different types of videos in the interim until things settle down and I can get back into my regular routine. So thank you. Thank you to my patrons who are still supporting me and I will see you guys just as soon as I can. Bye.